Hello guys and welcome to Shilem Stitches. Today is your first time visiting this channel. You are highly, highly welcome. And for marathoning subscribers, thank you so much for being a part of this community. Alright, today's video is about a colorless sleeveless dress that is worn over a blouse or a jumper, commonly referred to as a pinafore. So for this one we are making, it has a love shape at the front and it's easy to make. Come along, let's do this together. I've cut out my fabric using my shirt circumference divided by 4 and then the length of the bodies for this pinafore which is 9. So I have 12 inches by 9 inches, 2 pieces folded on my work table like this. Next thing I'm going to do is to put in my measurements now for this pinafore how much you want it to fall from the shoulder depends on you for mine i'm using two inches so from my shoulder line i mark two inches downwards and then for the chest line i came to the chest line and then marked my chest circumference divided by four minus 1.5 that gave me four inches i marked my four inches there and then on the waistline, that you choose how you want it to be like, like how much wideness it should be, how thin it should be. So I want mine to be like 2.5 inches on the waist. You can actually use 3 inches or even 2. So now I've gone ahead to mark my 2.5 inches on that waist and I am just joining all my points to form my curve my love shape all right so just use your hand or your curve rule to form out your heart shape it is very simple to make and easy to make so just know that this is how it's done so once i'm done shaving out or shaping out that love shape i'll just go ahead and cut out the shape like that Please note I added extra one inch for joining to the skirt part of this pinafore. So that gave us a total of nine inches because the original length is eight inches. So plus the one inch it gave us nine inches. But because I want this um, front part to come out a little bit, you know, standing, I decided to add a gum stay. Please, when you are cutting on your gum stay, cut on a folded gum stay. I actually went ahead to cut at a different gum stay because this was just a single piece. And I don't want it to be breaking due to consistent washing. So we'll keep this aside now. And now we'll continue to, yeah, we'll continue to um, work on it. Sorry. So... This is what I was talking about. Cut a, a fresh one, then attach it to your fabric. That shiny side is what you are going to iron to your wrong side. So take the other part of this love shape now, the right side, you face it to the right side and stitch down all around and turn it over, leaving a space like that. But because before you turn it over, take your scissors cut out all of the excesses so that you don't have a bulky work when you turn over so i'll just go ahead and cut out my excesses like i'm doing now before i will turn it over when you finish turning over take your pressing iron and press it down very very well so this is that we'll keep it now and continue with the other parts so this will be for the strap from the chest um the half of the chest to the back just take your measurement from that point where you wanted it to start to the back mine gave me 12 inches so i'm using 12 inches by 4 inches width then this is the band the band you're just going to take uh, the chest sorry the waist circumference divided by 4 add some inches to it and take your width so i'm using a width of 5 inches here and the length of around 15 inches whatever is left i can cut it out so I have two pieces for that as well. And then for the main skirt, I have my elastic band measuring about 9 inches, two of them, because I'm cutting my skirts two sides, right? So the two sides for the skirt 
is actually measuring 22 inches by 12 inches length. The length is 12 inches. By the time I form my band to give me about 2 inches plus my 2 12 inches length, that will be around 14 inches, which is a perfect length for this tried of 2 years. All right, then the, the length of this skirt, this material here is around 22. That 22 inches now, we are going to gather it. You take your material, your fabric, take it to your sewing machine and gather it to give you around 10 or 11 inches for the two pieces. Please subscribe to my channel and like this video. So I've gathered it now and I left my at 11 inches using 0 0.5 inches to attach the two pieces at both sides. Please, whenever you do your gathers this way, always endeavor to tie or knot your thread so that it does not lose later on. So I've done that now. Take my band now, front side facing front, and I'll just stitch that way. And then this is what I have. Cut out all the excesses over there, and then fold inwards like this, and stitch down along that line. That way you would have formed an elastic casing, and put in your elastic using your safety pin that way. So I've done for both of them, and this is what I have. I'll just go ahead now and stitch them together at the sides so this is what it should look like when you are done so go ahead and hem the the bottom okay so we are done with the skirt we'll form the strap now just stitch your strap along that line and turn it over so that is that so this is the heart shape or the love shape after ironing and all of that now let's couple everything together Get your skirt, take midpoint of the sides, the half side, and the other side, take the midpoint as well. We're doing this so that we can be able to arrange our work perfectly. We don't want something pushing to the other side. Take the midpoint also of that heart shape and take that midpoint to meet the midpoint on this side of the skirt and stitch it down along that line. Since um, we are not going to be doing any lining, you are going to fold in your end over there before stitching it down to give you a neat finishing all right for this back part the straps from that midpoint you just determine the inches apart you want so this one i'm using two inches apart so from that two inches mark i'll place my strap like this making sure that that stitch line is inside so that when you turn it to be inside not outside and then i'll pin down and stitch it down the way it should be so this is what I'm talking about. Just pin it down and stitch it down in that way. Like I said before, remember to you know, kind of roll in your work before you stitch it down so you don't have a cut part showing. So once that is done, you attach the end of the strap to the love shape side to give us the final work. So let me go ahead now and do all of that and then we'll see the end of this work so i've attached this now to the skirt part so take it over just flip it like this and then fold in your work and stitch on the heart shape this way so this is what we have at the end of the day and this is how it came out all right see that stitching there this is how it came out thank you so much for watching up to this time Remember to like this video and also subscribe to my channel if you haven't up to now. Thank you. I love you. I'll see you in my next video. Bye for now.